So we know a little bit about the interface. We know a little bit about adding shapes, but what when it comes to changing its color, its size, its some features, effects? Let me show you. So you can click at any given moment on any given shape. PowerPoint intuitively opens the drawing tools specific to this shape. And in my other more regular and advanced courses, we will really dive deep into this and, and create all kinds of shapes. But for the sake of this, this basic introductory tutorial, this 101 class, I want to show you the different features which a shape has. As you click on the shape, basically you have those options. The same options can be achieved by right-clicking on this object and selecting Format Shape. But in my opinion, those options here inside the Format Shape are a bit more advanced because it's like more difficult to navigate here. We have the Fill and the Line and you have the same Fill and Line here. What's the difference? For example, if I select fill, you can also have no fill. You see, only a line is remaining. By, because by default, PowerPoint gives every object a normal blue line, which I hate by the way, but the blue line has to be there. Then I'll select line. I can change the weight to six points and that's it. This is the biggest line I can get. So those options here are really basic. But if you right click and select format shape and open the line options here, as you can see, they are far more advanced. By more advanced, I want to say this is just more functions of the same function. Because here we have only dashes and weight and the maximum weight is six points. But if we go into the advanced options, we can make the width as big as we want. We can change the cap type and the join type, for example, to a rounded, so we have those little rounds here, I press Ctrl Z, instead of a corny rectangle. Back again, clicking on it, we are still on the lines, we can change the dash type. It's not about that I'll show you each function right now by selecting it, I just would like you to click on any given object, go to its drawing tools and change the shape fill to any given color, change the shape outline to any given color, try to make the outline for example bigger so you can see it like this, maybe change the properties of this object and it would be really cool and really advanced from you if you would add an example shape effect to this shape. I know this is plenty of elements to remember and do about a shape but it's important that you start to at least get familiar with the possibilities which PowerPoint has. It's nothing too hard and why do I not use these? The problem with these are that these are predefined. And yes, they might be really good to, to use if you want to make a really quick presentation, but here in, in this class I want you to understand the foundational options which will help you to achieve those elements. If you would click on this element, you wouldn't even know how this element, how all those options were applied to this box. So what is your task here? Change shape fill, change shape outline, click on effects and maybe add a simple shadow. Any of those shadows you like here. Boom, this will be your task for this lesson. Good luck.